that was completely straight. That was the the beam that I always kept an eye on. Another garden member he passed away last year. It's leaning in too much now. You can see the shift from the middle to the top has shifted into the garden now. Yeah. And that's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, that's really dangerous. I mean, if Betty was alive, he'd tear the damn thing down and rebuild it. Uh, yeah, we had a real bad ice storm. It started to lean toward oh, the started to lean toward, towards. Oh, that's that's bad. <laughs> and he came around the corner here on fifth, and the cops were out here, the fire department, and they were ready to tear it down then. And he said, "Don't you touch that." He said, "I'll fix it." And he ran up to the Sto Sophie's bar up here on fifth, yeah. brought 15 guys in, and in the middle of this ice storm. He's up there. They pulled it back into the garden. He tied it to all these trees back in here. Oh, that must have been something. And some of the trees that are over there by the stage. And he left it that way. <laughs> and then in the spring, he came in and he proceeded to take it all apart and rebuild it. Wow. He so rebuilt the whole thing. definitely has shifted in the storm Monday night and some people that were in the garden said they heard it crack and there are yeah. well, the blue car is on the side which used to be level level flat it's not now on an angle like this and the beam to the front of it you can see cracks in that beam so there's definitely yeah. something going on you want to know my theory Go ahead. Sunday night when you recorded me on Sunday night and uh, Eddie's family was here and people were talking about how unsafe it was and Eddie's niece Jackie said that if Eddie was alive in here, he would take that, he would have taken it down for being unsafe. So we talked about it and we talked about it and Monday night this windstorm came and moved it so it definitely has to come down. So I think it was Eddie. A, bi a big wind. I think Eddie was the big wind that came and moved it around. I think he's speaking and saying, yeah, it's not safe, let's take it down. So the park say they're coming and they're going to have the cherry picker up there and they'll start from the top and take it down from the top. I'm going to take all the stuff that Eddie put up there off and we'll put it in the garden and then we'll decide what to do with it. Maybe we'll have an auction and people can all get some pieces and, uh, <laughs> and um, then we can use the money for that to put some kind of a uh, memorial up over there. It'd be a shame to lose this rose bush. It's been here for so many years and it's got the most gorgeous red flowers. We have so many people from the garden that have played some ma major important roles in here that have passed away, like Sarah Farley, who was one of the first people to help to start the garden. And she was one of the civil rights people and, uh, and the rights for uh, apartments and buildings around here. And we also, and we have um, Everett. Everett was one of the people to help us get our water. And then there was Elizabeth and Ray, and it's just a whole list of Mar uh, Martha Pitts, people that worked really hard and worked forever in putting this garden together, who passed away. So some, one of the ideas is to make a little memorial seating section in memory of everybody who's passed away, along with Eddie. And then there's a the thought of maybe doing like a three or four foot or eight, six foot tower on a smaller area. So maybe we'll have a thing where once a year somebody will do a sculpture, huh. 10 foot tall sculpture, and we'll put it oh. on, a, uh, on yeah. one of the plots. And it could be a continuing art project. Every year it'll be another piece that goes up. The uh, sad part about this is this is like this is the last piece of the defiance of this neighborhood, the strength of these people that, of the neighborhood that stood up to, you know, the powers that be. Now we have apartments renting for four, five, six, seven thousand dollars a month here. It's become a club zone. It's like Disneyland or, or Las Vegas in the East Village. So this, 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 you know, sculpture and structure is like uh, the last of the defiance of, of that, of the old days. So it's really sad to see it come down. And if it was safe, there'd be no way that this, we would agree to have it taken down. Yeah. There's a lot of neighborhood people coming by saying, oh, can't we do something about it? Can't you save it? Well, we tried. We've had a 
save the Eddie's the sculpture committee and we've had museums that were contacted lots of people have been contacted and um, nobody wants it so now we'll see whether the parks department gets it down or Eddie's wind comes through and knocks it down first oh. <laughs> see who knocks it down first Eddie's wind Eddie's wind I'm telling you Monday night I swear that was Eddie coming through here. <laughs> it'd be something he'd do <laughs> There's, there's a lot of neighborhood people come by and every now and then somebody will come in and look at it and say, that'd make a great blaze. <laughs> so all of us are like, oh, hope nobody oh, decides yeah. to do this, you know. Yeah, no, that would be tragic. That would, that would spread too, too easily. Can you imagine the heat off of this thing? What? Well, I mean, it would be great to have a big weenie oh, roast one. <laughs> Well, I, I, I do have footage of you saying uh, burn it about, uh, I think, three separate times. <laughs> I write East Village Lady. No, don't make, don't, don't take no. me out of content. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I've been an Eddie advocate all my life. <laughs> no. Unless it just accidentally burns. Yeah. <laughs> the FBI would be after me. <laughs> Homeland Security, Homeland Security. <laughs> Tony was saying that uh, she thought it was Eddie's big win that uh, set it to leaning on Monday night. Uh, it may or may not be his win, but he's definitely laughing. <laughs> he's laughing hard. He's having a good time. He's going, look at all this work people have to do over my tower. <laughs> you know he's saying that. I mean, he just... <laughs> Come down, huh? No. Come down. What should they do? Of course, 
They would say, do it to our neighbor. They said, do it in there. They took the history out of our neighborhood. This guy built this thing. That's his plot. He the one that created this guy. He the one that started creating people in this guy. That's his artwork. That guy's been all over the world. That thing is what has made the God of what it is. All right? There's nothing wrong. They can save it. They can, they can cement the bottom and support it. Make it strong. But a lot of people were holding it down, trying to destroy it because they want it down. But everyone wants that spot to make a garden spot. That's all. People who were working here was doing it, actually destroying it. They wanted to come down. One, the lady, one lady there was holding it every day with the hose. Uh, yes. Nothing to do with the park department. Nothing to do with it. People who were here were destroying it. They itself. We got witness. That they destroy my neighbor. There's nothing left. They're taking the history out of the table. The people that do this neighbor, what it is, they're taking it all away. There's nothing left. All these stuff is a bit yuppy, little crash. They're taking over our neighborhood. And they want everything their way. People pay six cents. So 13 hours a year for a spot here. Everyone pays for a spot here every year. There's money. They got money here. There is money. They can save it. They got the money. They got the money. They It's a shame that he left such a beautiful artwork and people then do more to save it. I think he should, they should have saved it. I mean, they said it was a hazard that they could have, but if, if nothing happened since all these years, I think the destruction was well, it, it did need maintenance. It need, needed somebody to crawl all, all over the top well, of it. That's true, too. Why, why, why didn't you volunteer? Because sure. when I found out, <laughs> I read it in the papers, and then it was too late. Oh. That breaks my heart not to see it. You see it sort of uh, tilting a little bit over the years and say, maybe I could go up there and... Not uh, really. <laughs> it's the same thing when you see uh, when you see a kid every day, you don't see him grow. Yeah. Maybe I didn't get to see that chance. Yeah. But I feel very terrible about this and they should have never knocked it down. But like I said, this was something for the people, for them, this little garden. Yeah. And it's yeah. a shame the more people they protect against this. Yeah. It's not going to be the same. They feel a little sad. The kiwi! Uh, I've been a member of the garden about 15 and 20 years ago. The kiwi! So, uh, death of these killers for me, or death yeah. of these killers I know. <laughs> say he was religious in the way that you would recognize a religion as like somebody approved it and a lot of people follow it. Uh, he certainly was religious in a, in a, you know, like a religious hermit or a, a, you know, Asian ascetic uh, monk or something who's just, you know, off somewhere and doing their own thing, but they got a philosophy, they got a very strong philosophy, he did, um, in an unusual way of passing it along to people sometimes, <laughs> but he had a philosophy. So, so does it look like they're uh, trying to preserve the toys? It doesn't look like they're trying to preserve the toys to me. Huh? It doesn't look like they're trying no, to preserve the I toys to me. That, no, they, uh, I, I, uh, I think it's, we'll see what happens if they get lower. I talked to them and they were like, what? I said, well, your spokesperson told people that. I said, we didn't even ask. It was volunteered by, by someone. They're like, no one told us. And, and uh... I said, well, I don't, I mean, I don't even know how they're going to take stuff down safely from up there. 
you know, it's, it's like the guy's going to have to come up and down and the thing, and it's going to take like, you know, three times as long. And he was an inspiration, a fixture of the neighborhood, a keeper of history, collecting bits and pieces from the East Village for years, putting it in a form that we could all enjoy. Um, we've missed, you know, yeah. and now this last piece of important East Village spirit is being ripped apart. Yeah, it really neat, at the very least, needs a curator up in the cherry picker. Oh, with, uh, yeah. <laughs> that first guy did show a little TLC with some important thing. the pony. You saved the pony. Oh, the ball, the ball. I'm, I'm <laughs> terrible. I'm so I know, I right? Know. Tower of Toys. It was uh, it was there since uh, 1985. Oh, there it goes. Who built it? 